Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be walking you through my whole digital art process and I'm not going to be going into detail about each part and each step because I do have a lot of tutorials on my channel covering every subject. So yeah, let's just begin. So here what I'm doing is I'm just actually filling up all the shapes that I have for the portrait and this way I create a base for the whole artwork especially if I'm painting portrait so that's the first step obviously then what I do is I just start by shading the nose and I always shade skin that way I just always start with the nose for some reason it just guides me in the process when I'm like shading other parts of the face so what I basically do is I first initially use a color which is darker than the skin color but not too dark and I use that color to add shadows and those shadows are those shadows become a base for me to work with and I then start building the color up slowly layer by layer and for the color palette what I basically do is I pick four colors from orange undertone and four colors from pink undertone and I use um, both of them because I just feel that your skin uh, that you should involve colors with pink undertone on the skin because the skin has blood so should reflect somewhere on the face so that's how I basically do it and I do have an in-depth tutorial on skin shading you might want to check out i also have it on a tan skin or maybe a dark skin tone as well but yeah i do have that so do check that out i have covered everything on my youtube channel i have covered eyebrows eyelashes skin hair body whatnot so you should definitely check those videos out and if you want me to create a playlist for you then i can do that too just let me know in the comment section below so yeah that's i just always start with the skin and i just do the eyes then and i just keep again for the eyes as well i just fill up the shapes first then i alpha lock the layer and i start adding the shadows the highlights and everything right now it's looking crazy the girl is looking very very crazy but it looked good in the end so yeah that's what i'm doing right here i'm just shading the eyes and also when i shade eyes what i do for the white part of the eyes i use a grayish kind of color for the white part of the eyes and then then i use a maroon color to add some uh kind of shadows around the whole white part of the eye so that's what i do and then once i'm done with that and also for the iris i don't do anything crazy i just lay down the base color and then just add a dark um, shadow or dark color around the whole iris and it look good and I don't add the pupil for some reason I just add a white dot and I'll add it in the end but the white dot looks good and that is why I don't ever add any pupil to the eyes in my paintings and yeah I just did the brows the eyelashes again I have in-depth tutorials on those subjects you should check those out and I also did lips again I also have video on how to shade lips you should definitely check that out and yeah I basically do eyebrows eyes and lips in the end I first just start shading this face the whole face but the shadow part is not yet done I have to add some depth to the face as well so as you guys can see I'm adding this maroonish kind of color on the face and I just love adding this color this just adds depth to the face and it doesn't look ashy at all so that is why I love using this color when I'm shading skin also the brushes I love using when I'm shading skin on procreate if you're using any other um, app or software I can tell you a good substitute for the brushes that I'm using right here so basically I use soft airbrush and soft blend brush both are from airbrushing brush set and my personal favorite is soft blend because it not only paints it also blends at the same time so i don't really have to switch back and forth between the brush and the blending tool and i have a video on that brush specifically on that brush uh, and how that brush works you might want to check that out if you are someone who uses procreate so uh, the reason why i love soft blend is again it just adds the harsh looking shadows and at the same time if the shadows are too harsh you can just go ahead and blend with the similar brush and it's so so good 
and yeah that's that and if your software doesn't have that brush what you can do is you can just pick up your pick up any hard brush hard airbrush and your blending tool and that will just do the same thing so as you guys can see the nose is looking cute already i just like this kind of nose and i just really really like to add this really pink kind of color on the cheeks and on the nose as well so that's how i actually do the blush even though i haven't done the blush yet it's just a maroon color which is adding this depth this pink looking depth to the face for the hair what i do is uh, over the base color what i do i just use um, technical pen from inking brush set to create hair like strokes and then using softer brush I just add um, shadows and highlights so as you guys can see that's what I'm doing right here even though I have in depth tutorial on how to shade really really curly hair and procreate so that would be a nice video if you want to check out or if you want to know in depth how to actually do that but basically the process is to have a base color ready create a new layer, add hair like stroke with technical pen and then on the base layer, alpha lock the base layer and add shadows or dark colors and you can also add highlights as well and to add more highlights to the whole hair what you can do is you can pick up light pen from luminance brush set and choose the uh, base color of the hair color as your main color while using light pen and add more hair strokes to the whole hairstyle and this way the hairstyle looks good I won't say realistic but kind of near to realistic I would say yeah so that's how I do that now here I'm painting the background and for background I was actually looking at a reference and it has this really good sky gradient in the background so I just created that and I wasn't really being perfect about it because I always just um, blur the background and I love it. I love adding Gaussian blur to the background so it is looking good already but I love adding Gaussian blur to the background and it just makes the main subject to stand out a bit more. So that's how that's what I do there and once that is done what i'm doing is i'm creating a new layer and changing the layer mode to multiply now the reason why i am doing this is to add more shadows around the face because right now is it's just too flat and too white or too um ashy looking in a sense that uh you you should add some shadows around the face especially where the hair are kind of on the face you have to you should add some shadows around that area so that's that and here I started adding highlight to the face now this is my favorite part for some reason I always add highlight on the forehead on the bridge of the nose and tip of the nose lips around the mouth and on the cheekbones as well sometimes I skip the cheekbones but sometimes I do but as you can see the highlight on the forehead it looks so good and it just gives a structure to the face even though this time I shaded the whole face a little differently and as compared to what I usually do but that's fine and I also went ahead and added freckles and blended it now what you want to do is this is also one of my favorite tips that I do all the time is to um, add a color above all of the layers any color from the background so that we can merge the main subject with the background and then I change the layer mode to whichever layer mode suits the best for the whole artwork now after that comes the favorite part the really the part which I really really enjoy is to add some element some glowing element to the whole drawing now I have a video on how to do so and how to add a glow in your paintings and or in any element I do have that video you can check that out but I just created this half moon kind of thing behind her and added glow to it it's really really simple to create a glow in the element and I won't all obviously I won't go ahead and explain in detail right here because I do already have a video on that so you don't worry about it now once you have once I have the glowing element in the background I also love adding some sparkles around the glowing object now once I have the glowing object just to make sure that it merges well with the main subject what I do is I just start adding 
some light to the face as well as if the face is reflecting the light which is coming from behind so or wherever the glowing object is so that is a crucial step if you are in any glowing object that step is crucial that step is important and that is that's what i'm doing on the face as well as the hair don't forget the hair you should merge the main subject with the glowing object and this is the way to do so so the face was looking fine i was kind of experimenting back and forth but it looked fine then i did the hair and i actually added more hair strokes um on the whole hairstyle lighter hair strokes just to merge it with the glowing object and that's it that's pretty much it that's how i create um, a digital artwork on Procreate. I know this was not detailed at all, just but just because I already have a lot of tutorials on my channel that you can check out. And I really hope you guys found something helpful out of this tutorial. And yeah, if not, if you want me to do a tutorial on a specific subject from this tutorial, then you can let me know in the comment section down below. I would be really happy to do so. Other than that, you just follow me on Instagram and yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.